excitement is already building as the diocese prepares to ordain two men to the priesthood just three weeks from today. We will have profiles on both of them for you today, beginning with Deacon Christopher Federation. I had the opportunity to sit down with Deacon Federation on a weekend recently when he was back in the diocese for his weekend assignment at Our Lady of the Valley Parish in East Hampton. Deacon Christopher Federation grew up in Pittsfield, the only child of Peter and Marie Federation. He was a parishioner of the former Notre Dame Parish, and at a young age, he says, both priests and laity would suggest that he would one day become a priest. But young Chris did not seriously consider the idea back then, choosing instead to focus on playing tennis or spending time with his father, who sadly passed away unexpectedly in 2008. Growing up, whether it was going for hikes with him or uh, he taught me all kinds of uh, things like carpentry and how to put a roof on a house. It, by 16, I could, I could put a roof on a house. I, I worked with my dad all the time. He was great. He was a teacher, so he'd have summers off. So, uh, and yeah, he taught me more or less everything he knew, and, and I thank God for that. Deacon Chris says he always excelled in school. Graduating from Taconic High School, he especially loved math, as his father taught high school algebra and geometry. I did, and I, especially when I got to college, I really liked math, really liked calculus and, and math problems. There's always one answer, so <laughs> no debating, but... Um, but yeah, yeah, I always liked math, and that's why I studied economics, a lot of math, a lot of stats involved in that. Receiving his math and carpentry skills from his Ukrainian father, he says it was his mother, who is of French descent, who instilled great faith in him. She was the one who would bring me to church and was very involved in my faith formation growing up, too. So she's very faithful Catholic, and, uh, and that's been a, an inspiration uh, in its own, absolutely. And, uh, you know, she's, uh, she's been a great, uh, great help to me when I'm in seminary, too, and uh, always very supportive. So I uh, really can't thank her enough. Currently serving at Our Lady of the Valley Parish in East Hampton on weekends, while finishing his studies at St. John's Seminary in Brighton, Deacon Chris graduated from Siena College in 2007. While there, he learned about Franciscan spirituality, serving the community through volunteer work and on a global level through a mission trip to Bolivia, where he helped to build houses with Habitat for Humanity. After receiving his bachelor's degree, he entered into a doctoral program in economics at American University in Washington, D.C. He says even though he had the promise of a good career, drove a nice car, and had a good group of friends, he felt the desire to serve God and others. When you're 20, your whole life's still ahead of you and all these different possibilities. But looking back, I can see God and through his Holy Spirit kind of leading me in the direction um, that he wanted for my life. And uh, eventually I, you know, became, this is what will make me happy and fulfilled. Um, and so that's when I decided to go to seminary and become a priest. Deacon Chris studied at St. John's Seminary in Brighton. Chris was for a time in the Oblates of uh, Virgin Mary, and uh, he has a, a deep religiosity in a sense and a great devotion to Our Lady. Uh, I find Chris a very meek man, and I think that his spirituality will, will bring many people uh, closer to Christ. Deacon Chris says that with the shortage of men entering the priesthood, he will take his new responsibilities seriously, knowing that he and his fellow classmate, Deacon Frank Lawler, are the only two to be ordained this year. Only one seminarian is scheduled for ordination in 2015. There's a certain urgency to really talk about vocations and to, uh, and just by example, by being a happy priest, by uh, you know, enjoying what, what you're doing and not losing sight of that. And that will inspire uh, more young men to uh, answer God's call. He also looks to his current pastor, Father Peter Gregory of St. Charles in Pittsfield, as among the priests who have inspired him. Father Peter's been really a great help and a great mentor over the past, uh, you know, 10 years since I've been at St. Charles. And 
seeing him, he has a great way with people and he's able to, to really bring the community together. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great priest, just celebrated his 40th anniversary of priesthood. And uh, he was joking with me the other day that he said, it'll be here before you know it. <laughs> And best wishes to Deacon Chris as his ordination day will be here before he knows it. Coming up on June 7th at St. Michael's Cathedral.